All right, guys, so creative mining here. And a lot of Chia farmers may already be aware of the halving that's coming up in March of this year. But for those of you who heard about it but aren't too familiar with the halving that's going to happen soon, I figured I'd create this video to go over the Chia team's response to the halving and what my thoughts are to each point. So with that said, let's get started. Actually, you know what, before I start, as always, do your own research, and this is not financial advice. So in 2024, the Chia blockchain will undergo two halvings, a block reward reduction and a plot filter reduction. These are separate events, but both are important to Chia's future. We've put this post together to help clarify what's changing, when the events will occur, and what action, if any, is required on your part. So the block reward reduction is going to happen in March 2024 and it's going to happen because the reduction was built into the blockchain's emission schedule for two primary reasons to ensure that a large amount of XCH would be released into circulation in the first few years of the network's existence and to limit the inflation rate of XCH over the long run. OK, so that part makes sense. The only thing i want to add for those of you who don't know is that the emissions is the pace at which new coins are created and introduced into circulation so in general the consensus mechanism protocol determines what the emission rates are and emission schedule is a necessary evil because otherwise we'd have a massive amount of coins that were minted in circulation and the value would be will probably be super low because there are so many coins. So an emission schedule helps control that scarcity in the market. So it definitely is needed. That's why both guys and gals who get in early on most crypto projects reap the most rewards because of this emission schedule. But let's keep reading. So after block 5 million and 45,760, the block reward will be cut in half from 2 XCH to 1 XCH. Each block reward will continue to be split into two coins, where seven eighths of the reward is the pool coin, and the other one eighth plus fees is the farmer coin. Over the following nine years, the network will experience three more reward halvings, with the last occurring after block 20,183,040, currently estimated to be in the first half of 2033. We built these reward reduction events into the blockchain before the launch of mainnet and outlined the schedule in your documentation and white paper action required no action is required on your part if you are a chia farmer your rewards and in xch terms will be cut in half this includes your pool payouts as well as your farmer rewards you might want to use a site such as xch.farm slash calculator to plan accordingly. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm just starting out as a Chia farmer, but I've been a Chia lurker for much longer than I've been a farmer. I just finally got to the point where I'm able to start participating in this project because of how expensive, it, ooh, excuse me, expensive it is to get in initially. And also the profitability projections were always never the best for Chia, but I did believe in the technology, the projects on the roadmap and the dev team. So. That was another big part of why I wanted to get in when I was able to. But we'll talk about that in more detail in another video. In terms of strategies you could use to respond proactively to the having so you can maximize your rewards, there are a couple of things you can do. So the first thing you can do is you could try densifying your farms. So if you have a portion of your farm that's made up of, let's say, six terabytes or eight terabyte hard drives, you can consider replacing those drives with 18 terabyte or 20 terabyte drives. So you'll have more plot files. The only downside is that you'd have to replot those drives, which is a time consuming process, but that depends on your hardware and machine setup. Also, another thing you can do is consider compressing your plots because on the Chia website, I'll put a link to a table in the description box below, but Basically, there are different compression levels depending on which plotting software you use. So me personally, I use Bladebit, so I can give you guys some info on that. And their compression levels are from C1 to C9. 
So naturally, by compressing your plots, it'll consume less space on the drives. And by having more space available, you'll be able to create even more plot files, thereby increasing your rewards rate. So that's another option. Only thing is, if you want to maximize rewards, naturally you would go for the highest compression level. And right now, I believe C9 is still kind of experimental. So the most commonly used compression level that's been used by a lot of the farmers is C7. And last but not least, I don't want this video to be too long, but think about beefing up your hardware setup. Look at other ways of improving your plotting process. Because for me, I do GPU plotting with CUDA on the Threadripper Pro. So that's very fast compared to other plotting techniques, even faster than regular RAM plotting because all the plot files are being written temporarily to RAM and then being moved to my hard drive. So it's a lot faster than just writing to an SSD and eventually that wear and tear cycle will wear out the lifetime of your SSD and you'll have to replace it. So in addition, I'm also using a, a GPU to do this. The only caveat is that with GPU plotting, your harvester also needs to have a GPU that can support those compression levels. So those details are available on the Chia website, which I'll post below. And you could also, this is kind of obvious, but you could also just increase the size of your farm, but hard drives are expensive and everybody has their own circumstances financially. So let's keep reading. Plot filter reduction. When? June 2024. Why? In the coming years, it'll become feasible for Chia farmers to create and delete plots every 20 seconds or so, rather than creating them only once and storing them on disk for many years. Plot grinding, as this process is known, would not affect the security of the network. However, it would result in wasting an excessive amount of electricity. As a community, we decided via chip 12 that the best way to prevent plot grinding would be to cut the plot filter in half. This will make plot grinding cost prohibitive even after it becomes technically feasible. Okay, so this plot grinding process is what a lot of farmers are concerned about because it almost defeats the purpose of Chia, which is to avoid excessive electricity costs typically associated with proof-of-work blockchains like Bitcoin by turning what was originally proof of space and time into its own version of proof of work because plot grinding is going to consume a lot more electricity than regular harvesting, which is why they've cut this plot filter in half to avoid this. But this reduction is also another factor that impacts profitability. So let's keep reading. Currently, for each signage point broadcast to the network, 511 out of every 512 plots are ineligible to submit a proof of space. This can be thought of as a game of bingo, where a new game is played every 10 seconds or so. If your farm has 512 plots, it has the equivalent of 512 bingo cards. For each game, only one of your cards will be eligible to play on average. Your computer will calculate whether that card is a winner. Wow, that's actually a pretty good analogy. I don't think I have to explain that. 10 seconds later, another game will occur and a different card will likely be eligible to play. This filter is fair because it affects everyone equally. You can continue to use the same cards in future games. Okay, that part makes sense. In June 2024, the plot filter will be reduced from 512 to 256. Sticking with the bingo analogy, if you have 512 cards, then after the filter has been reduced, on average, two cards will be eligible to play in each game. So it sounds like your machine has to do twice the amount of work it previously was doing. Your computer must then do twice as, just what I said, do twice as many calculations to determine whether one of your cards is one. Unlike the block reward having, the filter reduction was not built into the network from day one. Instead, it was added as a result of chip 12. For technical information about the plot filter, see our consensus documentation. 
We kind of talked about the plot filter earlier, so I'm not going to rehash it. I'm just going to keep reading. This video is getting kind of long. Prior to the filter having in tw June 2024, you must upgrade your farm or node to version 2.1.0 or later. If you don't upgrade, you risk, you risk losing farming rewards. So software updates are normal. They're expected, even if the having wasn't going to happen. So I don't really see this as a big deal relative to the having. Beyond upgrading, whether you need to take any action to prepare for this change depends on your farm's composition because twice as many plots will be eligible for each proof of space challenge. After the filter has been reduced, your harvesters will require roughly twice as much compute in order to keep up with the network. For small farms and those using uncompressed plots, the current requirement for compute is likely quite low. Going back to what I said earlier about GPU harvesters being able to support compressed plots. For example, perhaps your which, by the way, has more compute. So, for example, perhaps your harvester is only running at 5% capacity today. So after the filter reduction, it'll require 10%. In this case, no action is required. On the other hand, if your harvesters are running at over 50% capacity today, then they will be at over 100% after the filter reduction. As a result, your harvesters will be unable to look up all the proofs of space required to keep up with the network. In other words, you might have a winning bingo card and not realize it. For those using blade bit plots, our documentation lists several techniques to determine your farm's capacity. These, the, oh, I'm sorry, those using plots from other vendors must use tools compatible with their plot format to make the same determination. So what they mean by this is that when you download the Chia client software, it does come with blade bit, but you do have the option of downloading blade bit separately on GitHub and that version of blade blade bit contains a simulation component where you're able to measure how much your farm would hypothetically support given certain parameters so i think that's pretty useful in terms of trying to determine your farm's capacity you should plan for this reduction to avoid missing out on any rewards feel free to drop into our discord for more info and or support and the following corrections were made from the original post. February 15th, 2024, removed the word we, which was inadvertently repeated. February 15th, 2024, added a note that users must upgrade to version 2.1 or later. The Chia blockchain block creation speed varies because it relies on solving a problem where participants use their computer stores to make guesses at a solution. Sounds like proof of work, just with space instead of computational resources and the time to find the right guess can change sometimes someone finds the solution quickly and other times it takes longer farmers can also join and leave the network because blockchain networks in general have that property of being permissionless making the block creation speed fluctuate this is why an exact date and time for the having is not possible instead we rely on the block height as the marker for when an event will occur so I hope reading this article to you guys gives you a bit more context about what's going on with the having coming up. And I did give you, oh wait, by the way, yeah, that's the end of the article. So I also threw in a couple of tidbits about how you could possibly respond to the having so you can maximize your rewards and kind of mitigate the impact that the having would have on your farm. There are a couple of other ideas I had in mind, but I don't want to make the video too long hopefully this doesn't stop you from wanting to still participate in chia a lot of people are still optimistic about the possible price points chia could reach because when it ico'd back in may 2021 i believe it was a thousand dollars and change but after that it never really hit that price point again but regardless i'm in chia now so I'm going to try to give regular updates on my farm, any experiential advice I can give you guys and, you know, just continue to pump out this content. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Creative Mining out.